Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Obviously, before we get into the vlog, I'm gonna show you guys some pieces from Revolve. I am so excited to style these pieces this month. It's gonna be so sick. I'm gonna try them on for you guys and show you guys. It's the holidays. I wanna be spicy. This top just gives me like, this is so freaking cute. I'm gonna wear these with black low rise jeans and then a fluffy jacket for a going out look. I know it'll still be pretty cool because we are obviously getting into winter. It's so crazy how time is flying. <laughs> but this is from NBD. I feel like this is great for like New Year's too. Can you believe New Year's is two months away? Less than. It's insane. It did have a matching skirt on the website, which I did not get. I just got the top because I'm gonna wear it just like with jeans as like just like a going out look. And I like that it kind of like hangs down so it's not just like looks like you're wearing a bra. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Uh, low rise, why do, these, why do these look huge? No, these are a 24. These look huge. Or do they not look huge? I don't know. But I loved that it had a shiny type of material to it. So it kind of gives it more of like a dressy look. I don't know if you can tell. I love this look. I'm really into a futuristic type of look, whether it's wearing like a onesie that's like shiny, kind of like my Bugatti cover art. It's like a really cool kind of, oh, by the way, stream Bugatti, my new song, the cover art. I really like the futuristic style of look mixed with like a retro vibe. So anyways, this just kind of gives me a cool going out look. It looks like liquid, but you're wearing jeans. I feel like this with that top. Yum. Also with those jeans, I just feel like a really tight black shiny bodysuit is so nice for the winter months because it hugs you so nice and looks really dressy. You can dress it up or you can dress it down. You can wear this with literally workout pants or you can wear this with like a dressy skirt or some jeans and it'll look put together no matter what. This is from Lovers and Friends, extra small, gotta have it, got to love it. I like made this little choker today and it's, does this look stupid? Also this cardigan is from Lovers and Friends. And then this is my belly chain. You guys already know this. And then I just made this choker. Found like the flower at some shop and then just stuck it on this thing. This dress is so pretty. It's like a high low dress, but like high low on the side. It's from Lovers and Friends. I got an extra extra small because I like it super super tight. It's I feel I feel like black dresses like this are just a great go-to especially for the holiday season. I was thinking about wearing the turtleneck bodysuit underneath this putting it over it and wearing tights. That may look extremely silly, but I'm not sure. I feel like also layering this over like a bodysuit that like sits like this. That would be kind of cool. I'm really gonna try to layer this season so I can stay warm because I'm always freezing. This next one, ugh, same type of vibe, I love this. This is just like a sequin little mini. Look how mini it is. It's so mini in the front and the back are low Vs. Like how sick. Again, this with like a turtleneck bodysuit and some tights or just this with like tights, gloves and a big jacket. This is from, is this? This is super down. I think this is definitely one of my favorite pieces. I think it's so cute. So classy. We wanna be classy girls. So Privacy Please sells underwear. Revolve has great underwear on their website. And it was a pack of three. I'm wearing one of them right now. <laughs> really comfortable. Honestly, I give a lot of money to Skims and I just needed to take a break. And okay, small rant. I don't know. Victoria's Secret's a great brand, but this was the recent holiday campaign with Hailey Bieber. And I don't know. I feel like I have a lot to say about it. Like it's really giving Canva. It's giving Pixar on your iPhone. I'm just a little disappointed and no shade, no hate to Hailey Bieber. I think she's great. I think she's so cute. I love her vibe. She's great. But this campaign, I mean, she looks so good, but this campaign, girl, Victoria's Secret, this is, ah, uh, let's rewind to like the 90s and the 2000s. Most unreal concepts and ideas. Same thing, women in lingerie, most beautiful women in lingerie. Look, at, even now we have Hailey Bieber, one of the most beautiful women ever in lingerie doing the campaign, but this is her campaign and these were the other girls' campaigns. Make it make sense because it's not giving what it gave. And now that I'm a woman, I wanna look to lingerie brands and be like, damn, I'm, I can see myself in that. When I was a younger girl, it was harder for me to do it. I mean, I would look at them and admire them, but I'm going off on a ramble. Revolve has underwear. So I'll put some really cute little undies that I like down below. I'm really excited for this. I feel like this is different for me. This is NBD. This is like a really cool, thick, 
knitted dress. I'm gonna wear it with thigh high leather boots. I have two coats. This beautiful black faux fur coat from Majorelle in an extra small. Oh, it clasps in the center. It's so pretty. It's like the perfect length, classy. I just really needed a classic black faux fur jacket for the winter months and I didn't have it. I had like, yeah, no, this is great. Then from Super Down, I got a small crop. Look at you guys, this is, this is so cute even with this. And look at it clasps in the middle. Yes, and it clasps one more down below. This is so great and it's kind of still lighter so if it's not super, super hot where you're at yet, this is so great and it's so cute. I got a small, I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized and cute. Um, I'm gonna style this with the black jeans and the shimmery top. So that's enough of me rambling. Let's get into the vlog. Good morning. This, the sun is shining. Good morning. Good. I'm headed to Pilates. It is 8.55 a.m., which is actually a little late for me. I should be getting up at like 7.30 every day, which I was doing last week, but this week, I don't know, I've just been wanting to sleep. Okay, I'm done with Pilates. I have an awkward like time between now and getting my Forma facial, which I'll list what Forma is right here. Just a frequency that tightens the skin and stimulates collagen on a really deep level. I'm not doing Botox. I've, it's been like six months since I've done Botox and normally you're supposed to do it like every three to four months, sometimes six months, sometimes a year. I just stopped completely. So I'm doing like treatments to kind of like keep my skin tight and taut and pretty. It's hard work out here. So I'm gonna go get a coffee. Pilates was good today. It was like exactly the type of strengthening that I needed. My arms, a little bit of abs and booty. It was so nice. I love the girl Rachel, she teaches. Ever since like Halloween ended, it was almost like the weather and everything shifted and changed. And now it's like, it's like 60 degrees, which is like chillier for LA. And I know like three people that just got mad crazy, like colds and sick. So I'm just like, I, I don't want to be sick. So I really, I'm feeling a little like, uh. and I heard that the only masks that work are the N95 masks. So I bought some N95 masks to wear when I travel and stuff. So I'm gonna go get my coffee. <laughs> okay, a nitro cold brew, which literally this gives me so much anxiety and lights me on fire. I don't, I should have just got the s'mores espresso, like latte they were promoting, but I didn't. I did one pump of vanilla and almond milk, but I have this little sippy Halloween themed cup that I bought at Target during this Halloween season. So I'm gonna limit myself so I don't drink this whole thing by not even know, cause sometimes I'll just sit here and you know what I mean? So I'm gonna pour it. Hopefully I don't spill it all over my car. The foam on top of nitro cold brews. Okay, now what? I can't get this lid open, you fucking whore. See, like I only did that much and I'm probably still gonna get lit as hell off my ass. Oh, I just dropped the straw. You know what? I'm gonna go use their bathroom before I leave really quick. <laughs> you know when you drink coffee and you have to go that, yeah. Here's Le Jolie. Ooh. I've been going here for like five or six years. It's literally amazing. All their services, all their staff, all their people, literally incredible. I, this pimple. Okay, so I am dyeing my hair. We're in a really cute phase of life right now. It's gonna be very different from a few hours from now. However, this is the hair dye I dye my hair with. See it? This is what I buy. I get it at Whole Foods, but you can also get it on Amazon. It's like a more natural version. So I'm just gonna let this sit for like 10 more minutes and then we're gonna rinse it off. Why am I standing over there? Good morning guys. So, ooh, little zit sticker from Starface. Check them out. My room's like, I need to clean that up. But I'm dressed and ready. I'm gonna go to downtown LA. Look how cute my little set is. It's got like a flared slip pant. I'm gonna go to downtown LA. I'm gonna get supplies for my jewelry line. I'm gonna try to make a little necklace, a little hair clip for tonight. Tonight I'm going to a birthday party that is great Gatsby themed. 
I'm really excited. So I thought I would make this like a little day. Like I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks and I can't even remember in September, I think. It's been like a month-ish. Get like maybe one of their like frozen breakfast sandwiches, go to downtown LA and get some stuff, come back and yeah, let's do it. Okay, first stop is Starbucks. I actually am kind of feeling under the weather because I don't know, like cold season is definitely going around right now. And I just feel like drinking Starbucks is probably just gonna make me more sick if I am getting sick. However, we can have a little treat every now and then. And it's been, like I said, a month and a half. No, I had it, oh my gosh, has it been two months? Oh my God, I had it like September like 20th. So it's been a month and a half, I'm being dramatic. So I feel like every month and a half I can have a little treat, even if it's killing me. <laughs> Like Starbucks, like, I don't know. I just know Starbucks, like it was only gonna make me sicker, but whatever. I brought, wait, let's, okay. I, so first stop is Starbucks, then the post office, cause I'm dropping off a bunch of Depop stuff. I started reposting new clothing pieces on my closet. So if you guys wanna shop my closet, check it out. If you guys like my closet, posting pieces about like every week or as often as I can, to be honest. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. <gasps> is there no parking? The world does not want me to get Starbucks. There's no parking? I don't even know what I want from Starbucks, but we're going. I'll see you guys when I'm back. I'm so sleepy and head foggy. I got an Irish cream cold brew with only one pump of syrup. Get such like major, 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 major regret like major regret when I eat unhealthy stuff now because I eat so healthy and I'm like, okay, I've worked so hard. Now all the the me eating just a sweet potato for dinner last night because everything makes me feel sick now. That's another thing. Since I've been eating so healthy, everything just makes me feel like somewhat ill or gassy and like I guess eating super, super clean and you know, it makes your skin look nice. It promotes longevity. You know, you can literally, like it's so good for your body, but then it's like you do eat something that you do like, okay, I don't wanna like have this little shitty ass egg sandwich and this like coffee. It's really hard not to feel like complete ass and then you feel guilty. <sighs> Whenever I go into like Starbucks, especially Starbucks, but sometimes coffee shops in general, like almost wanna like start working there. Like I've always kind of wanted to work at Starbucks and I feel like I really want to try working there and just see what it's like to work like a job at Starbucks. I feel like in the new year that's definitely going to be my thing. I think when I had a job that I had to show up to, because right now I only have to show up for myself and if you have bad mental days, let me tell you something, it's really hard to show up for yourself. Like at least for like if you're an actor or like a model, you know, you have to show up on set and you're showing up on set or you're not getting paid, you know what I mean? You just don't want to let other people down. Sometimes I feel like it's not easier to let yourself down because it's actually harder for me to let myself down than it is other people, but there are times and there are days for me where I'm just like, it's easier just to like know that I'm not gonna show up for myself. Anyways, I feel like when I had jobs that I had to show up to, it gave me a little bit more time management with my time and my efforts. So I'm thinking like if I worked like an early morning Starbucks shift, like early, cause they do open up at like, I think the ones around here open up at six. If I got a job and I did like the 6 a.m. shift, I don't know. Is this stupid? Should I try it? I don't know, I've always wanted to work at Starbucks. I've always wanted to just, I don't know why Starbucks specifically. I've done a job like Chipotle. It was a place called Salsaritas where I would like build burritos, burrito bowls, and it was to go. It was literally like a knockoff version of Chipotle and it was called Salsaritas. Imagine that. I don't think they lasted long. But you know what also, the another coffee shop that I was so sad to see go, it's Caribou Coffee. I love caribou coffee. I think about it very often. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm pulling up to the post office to drop off some of y'all's packages from Lorelei by G, my jewelry line, and my closet, because you guys are the best. And also, I want to give you guys brand new shit that I just know that I'm not going to wear because I'm psycho. I'm going to go inside. Okay. So I'm back home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got and what I'm gonna like try to do. 
Okay, I got some hoops. I'm testing for wholesale to maybe sell. I got some earrings for tonight. And this is what I'm thinking about doing. So look at how cute this is. This is so cute. I randomly found this in an arts and crafts store. They had like just this bin of a bunch of faux flowers. And I think I'm gonna remove it off of, I'm sorry, I'm so shaky for my Star. My Starbucks is making me feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. I don't know how, if you guys have Starbucks every day, this is my first time having it in like a month and a half. I feel like I'm literally tweaking out and I, ugh, I feel like, ugh, I don't know. Anyways, this is so cute to tie. I arts and crafts. And then I just got some regular string because I'm gonna put maybe like a white flower on it. Okay, I randomly found this random flower. This is a little bit of an off-white color, but let me show you. Like if I put it on the string, that's cute. I know this kind of looks like shitty, but I feel like it'll be kind of cute. And then I got some black flowers because, no, definitely not put it in my hair. This I'm gonna put on maybe like a velvet string. Pink one's way cuter. But I'm wearing a black dress tonight. Trying out these rings, these holes to see if I wanna wholesale them. That was my little shopping extravaganza. So now I'm gonna shower. I'm so bad at doing hair. My hair is like two days old but I think I want to wear it up somehow. What is that? What is that? I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do with my life. Okay. So I went out to a birthday party and had a blast, but I drank too much. <coughs> if you guys drink more than once a week and have two drinks or more, how do you guys do it? I literally, I had two drinks last night. You remember not like, obviously it's not like a hangover where you're like, obviously when you're like so sick and you're throwing up and like whatever. But I, I feel like shit. I feel like, I just like, it's not even like I'm in pain. I just like, I feel like my body's like trying to fight something. <laughs> <laughs> and like my voice was so messed up after last night. Like I'm just gonna be on vocal rest all day. Like this is, I mean, you know what I had? I had no sugary drinks. I did Buffalo Trace, like whiskey with water. That's what I did. Like I know that sounds so gross, but like I can't do tequila anymore cause tequila, the, tequila, honestly, they're all horrible. I feel so horrible. But I have a sauna session and hopefully I can like get through it um, in an hour and I'm eating some toast. Oh my God. I can't drink, I literally, I literally can't drink alcohol. I can't. It just like, I just feel so useless. It's not even like, like I said, I'm not like puking my brains out, dying, whatever. It's just like, I woke up, I smelled like alcohol. I'm so useless, like so useless today. Anyways. So I just went to a sauna session and I could only sit in it for 15 minutes and I was just getting crazy anxiety that I was gonna just like, um, yeah, wait, what's in my screen? So I'm just like hung over to the point where it's like, I'm not sick. I just have a horrible headache and I just literally can't like snap out of this like, just like, I just can't get out of this like yucky feeling. So I just went to a place called Bristol Farms and I want to go home and make myself a breakfast burrito. But I also got these Isabella Cookie Company. They're vegan, the V chip. They're vegan chocolate chip cookies and a hot coffee. The day just feels so long because we gained an hour. I'm just slowly like, I can't right now, but let's try this cookie. Doesn't have much flavor. Maybe with my coffee. I always love to sip coffee and eat pastries. This coffee is pretty fucking good. Please, God, help me get out of this spiral. Give me the strength. I know me and God go to war about this because every time I drink now, every time, even if it's a little bit, I always hear him in the back of my mind. Don't do it, you're gonna feel sick. Even off of one drink, you're gonna lose your voice. Your voice is gonna hurt. And I just go, I just wanna have a little bit of fun. I just wanna, 
I want to dance freely. I just want to have a little bit of fun. It was last night it was this like Rams player's birthday party and like Kim Kardashian was there, like Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber were like literally dancing right next to Francina. No one could have their phones, we had to lock them in pouches, but I wanted to just dance and have fun. And now I just feel so sick. I just wanted to dance next to Hailey Bieber and, and not feel awkward and weird about it. So I had to have a drink or so, you know what I mean? Wanted to be cool and fun. Guess not. Oh, this lady was not joking. It was like a hot cup of coffee. Shit, it's so hot. All right, I'm, I'm. Breakfast burrito time. So I've been really into eating dairy. So I get this, um, this is called, it's this brand. The Vital Farms brand of butter, not salted. So it's literally straight up like the best kind of butter you can get. So I'm just gonna swirl this in my pan. So I have my eggs, egg white. This is such a great cooking tutorial. I just scoop out the yolk when it like cooks. I'm also baking some sweet potato and garlic. I got Parmesan cheese, some of the grade. I have my tortilla. I sauteed some onion. This is a gluten-free quinoa sausage patty. Mmm, it's pretty good. And then we'll do the Parmesan. I like to cook these on medium, so it cooks really slow. And I need to clean up my, and then this is the potato. I should pull this out. I'm a chef, I'm a chef, I am a chef. Looking for a wife? I love garlic. I should add some to my burrito. <gasps> They just like pop out. Oh my gosh, like this big chunk of garlic. <gasps> it's so good. Should I put some potato? Maybe I'll just <gasps> I'll put some potatoes. Ooh, it's so fluffy. This looks like shit, but hear me out. We've got the quinoa, quinoa sausage patty, onions, egg whites with a little bit of yolk, sweet potato and grilled garlic. I'm about to put the hot sauce on it. Oh, and Parmesan. Let me try this little burrito. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like I'm in a phase now. I feel like I'm in a phase now where I see more benefits of being gluten free over vegan. I got back into eggs, hemp seeds, chia seeds, protein shakes. I've also been taking, I look, I'm sorry, I look disgusting. But I've been taking reverse atrol and quercetin. This every other day. This every day. These are good for heart health skin health, anti-aging, and then NAC is really good for the brain. I take it either before I go to bed, you need to take it right before you go to bed, like right when you wake up in the morning. I only take it once a day. I know, I think you're supposed to take it twice, but. This has got to be one of the longest days ever. Also, taking reverse atrol, I always say this wrong. It's, yeah, no, reverse atrol with fat, because it's likely to not get absorbed if you don't. Drive the Rari. Do you wanna ride around in my Bugatti? If we get bored, then we can drive the Rari.